Hello and welcome back to Pinkin Plays. How's it for with the guys I like? Madre back in the Empire of Brazil. I've been gone away for quite some time, but now I'm back, and so we can go on. Hopefully this time it won't crash, but there's always the possibility, especially since I've come in about a week of not playing, and uh, for the look of it, there's been an update. Because now uh, Bohemia and Illyria don't seem to uh, exist. That could be a problem. That could be a possible problem. But luckily, those aren't important to me at the moment, so we can just go without them. We'll continue. So down here in Western Africa, the Cote d'Ivoire, Ashanti, Togo Federation, Dohomey State, and Nigeria were all released. I have to keep clicking this button with the freedom of Arakania until we can finally figure that out. Until I can, I'm assuming it'll stop if I take the rescue of the Mapuche people focus, hopefully. Then over in Chile, they're not exactly a one province nation. They're now two province nation, but yes, they have been cut up quite a lot. And yes, I'm sorry for not giving Juju over to the Flanders Bolivians, but it happened, it happens. So let's go for a heavier anti-tank gun, because we can. When it comes to Europe, we are preparing for a potential war against the Third International, which owns quite a lot. Then, yes, see, for first, I don't know what he said because I can't speak Portuguese. Send some troops over to the line in Liberia, as well as the line in northern Germany, which is mostly being patrolled by us and a few Canadians. Uh, yes, Arkenia, you can go ahead and join. I'll click this button again. So, the Canadians need to be worried, because they need to hold their line against the Americans. We, because we don't know what direction the Americans may fall, if at all. And we They can't join the Reichspack, because the Reichspack don't exist. The German government exile might cause some problems for us down the line. Der Schuss und Kilimandra That's just uh, nuclear technology. Not the worst thing, not the worst thing. Ireland stays in the fight against the Third International, and so they might join up with us later on. I would love some total artillery from the United Baltic Republic. If we could just cut our way through here, what would be really good is a cut off of Prussia and just really take down to Dresden, cut off any troops there, move our way through Germany, United Germany. And then into France while also holding on. Here is kind of a little bit more different, difficult. We do have a lot of naval bases that we can hold on to if a war ever did uh, break out between us and them. Looks like the Canadians are really starting to send some troops over to help us. That's very good. I like it. Keep up with the game of the Arakania. Uh, Arabia's canceled the non-aggression pact because we're no longer at war with their enemies. We are still at war against some of the some of the areas down here, the Dutch East Indies and the Deutsche Ostasien, they have taken over. But it's not that big of a problem, really. I mean, not really. As for you... Yes, what would you think of a, an attack through Berlin down to there? What would you think about that? You seem to be okay with it. They're not going to have any kind of defenses in this area. And also, they still need to worry about the Italian Republic. They are still in a lot of different wars. They are fighting against Bulgaria. They're fighting against Ukraine and the Donkubon Union. Ooh, thank you, Portugal. Thank you, mister. And thank you, Norway. Glad to see you're happy that we reconquered you. That's nice. Mean of India has declared war on the Bharata Commune. Well then. Now, I don't necessarily want to go down there, because the Republic of Yemen is also fighting. I think we need to leave that up to the... We might just want to leave that up to the Indians to fight in India. While we hold our own lines and worry about our own lands. Checked here. Yep, lots of people coming in through there. Probably going... Oh, good. Come... King of Siam took three states. Commonwealth of Canada took four states. Indo-Chinese Union was annexed. We were fighting the Indo-Chinese Union? Commonwealth of Canada was fighting the Indo-Chinese Union? When did this happen? Iran has cancelled their non-aggression pact. I would love to join the war. 
I would love to bring in other people into our the war. Um, so yeah, Ian, down here in Mekong Delta, Kantho. How you doing, Athena? How you doing? Saigon. Anam Lao. So we took over most of North Vietnam, including Anam and Laos. Well, Cambodia and Saigon and Kantho were taken by Siam. This is just very odd. Why are you... Oh, you, you look familiar. Togo Federation has been calling to the war. What a weird... Oh, Kingdom of Laos exists. With Kingdom of Laos, I'm assuming you're going to be underneath the Entente. Well, that does help. I'm surprised they're not going to be able to make... Vietnam, ladies and gentlemen. Vietnam. Okay, you don't exist, but you're owned by the Bao Dai. What a weird state of affairs. How did we get that? When were we at war with them? I don't understand. Please, God, help me. But unfortunately, there is no God to help here, so we're just going to have to keep going ourselves. I think I would like... I haven't... Yeah, before the episode that I was making that was, just, that was lost, we had made better division templates. Bench decisions. Just keep it up. Just keep it up. We're going to go slowly through this good night. As for you, you're not going for reunification yet. You're going for Grand Army Reform, Battleship Focus. No, but women soldiers. Total Tildre. At the moment, if we can just stay out of it. Mr. Gandhi. Mr. Mahatma Gandhi. Stronger together. Go down, please, and get the rescue of the Mapuche people. So we can finally finish that off. Looks like only in a couple places the Indians are actually doing well against the other Indians. And the Princely States, I don't know if you're winning or losing. The Princely Federation, you don't you don't necessarily like us. But you also don't not like us. So that's good. I like how Muscat is just being slowly taken over by the Yemeni. And we just don't care. We're going straight by them. Uh, National Uruguay, Cancel the Lindleys, Aratakami is called the Nepalese Socialists, and the Mean of India. So yeah, these mountains in the Himalayas down through the Baratakami, the difficult area to fight through. I was trying to do that back when I played as the Indo-Chinese Union, which when exactly did we play as the... In when exactly did we go to war against the Indo-Chinese Union in this campaign? I distinctly did not remember that. I could make some... Hmm... Actually, how much am I producing for tanks? We have a lot of light tanks. We're starting to produce some medium tanks. We can just keep producing those in some numbers. That's okay. So you get a bit higher, you get a bit higher. Modify the governments. Government, more like where you went. Um, battlefield support. Copper bombing, air supremacy doctrine. Don't mind that one bit. Just keep going so I don't lose points. Now that a fight here, the fight in Muscat, I must, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get more troops in, and then that'll probably just force us back over to take Yemeni, which is good. However, a new a, a new war on the Indian subcontinent is definitely not useful, as it means that we're going to be forced into a fairly long, drawn out conflict there, and it might leave us weak in Europe. Just focus on anything, anything at all. 43 streamlined or flexible. Let's go streamlined. Just because. That's for you. Take that. Kuba. Thank you. Travancore Cochin. Travancore. That's you. Travancore Cochin. You have an awesome hat. Thank you for your awesome hat. You're definitely not going to break our lines in Muscat, so Oman can at least keep going. Somalia, I'm assuming you're, yeah, you are underneath Ethiopia at this point. We have a lot of nations here. No, we are the only troops that are actually holding the line against the Germans. Although you are just supplying German volunteers to the Irish. Luck of the Irish. Oh, it's choppy. It's a choppy boy today. Oh, Delare, it's a choppy boy. Let's hope that our lines up here are... Yes, at the very least, they are reinforced with Canadians. 
going to protect Canadian soil. Down in Iberia, it is not the same situation. There's plenty of troops holding out in Portugal. Not the same for us. Let us look at 943 for some night vision. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe bring down the speed as well, because we were having some problems with buffering. What can, do you, what can we do you for? So you guys probably don't need to exist, but you're only making one, so that's fine. We could go against, say, Peru or Venezuela. We helped out East Indies. They have a bit more territory now. What else? The Central America, but I would really, really hope stand Annapolis. Uh -huh. Okay, the fact that they are sending volunteers, not to us anymore, but to Deutsch Ostasien and the East Indies, that is not a good sign. That is not a good sign at all. Very bad opinion of Canada. Okay, America might attack us. That is completely possible. And I don't think it's going to really stop it if we try to... I'm assuming they're going to go their own way and also try to get back... Where is it? Where is it? Where's America that go their own way? I'm assuming they're going to do League of American States University. Because even if they take a side, they can't join Germany. But they can... Thank you for the anti-tank guns. Reclaim America. Reclaiming New England. Hopefully that's just as simple as taking it back. Hopefully we don't. Uh, it would suck to lose New England as a partner, but it would be pref preferential over a war with America. Because if we get into a war with America, we're not going to be able to win it. Now, are we? Let's get some improved, some advanced anti-tank in Moscow to help things along. Over here, some of our troops are even starting to lose outright. But they are not being fully reinforced yet with troops from all across the world. Except for Brazil, because we have our own stuff to do. Oh boy. As for you, Germany. You have 20 troops at the moment. You, take it. I mean, we're going to rescue the Mapuche peoples. And hopefully that will stop it. If not, I guess I'll just have to take it. Take the penalty. You guys are fine. Just hold out in Moscat. As for here, taking a run. Hmm, what are you guys up to? Just kind of sitting on a badabad. A mad, a madabad, a madabad. I don't even want to know how many casualties India's taken through all this. Just get on out of here. As for our own continent, we have Uruguay, Argentina, Arcania, Chile, Bolivia, and Paraguay all underneath our banner. Again, very nice. We own West Africa, most of South America, a good portion of North America, a surprising amount of Europe now, a decent amount of Asia at the moment. Coast prosperity is fair. Russian state, you're still fighting the Japanese, right? It's not really getting you anywhere. Huh. Japan, you're still fighting them. And you're still fighting the Qing. I wonder, does Canada have any plans for... Oh no! Oh no! Attack the Union of Britain while you've sent all your troops elsewhere. I don't appreciate that move. I think it's going to get us killed. We're going to have to give up. We're going to... We are going to have to give up that. And you send your troops immediately into here. Please and thank you. Get your troops in that area. Uh, we're going to need a few more of those. Send them out in up there. Deploy some of them right now. Right, right now. Get them up to the north. Uh, where is it? How oh, can they just not join yet? Join. Oh my, of course your plan is to attack the Union of Britain immediately. Let's see where my navies are. Yeah, but my navy. You're in the Baltic Sea. Not a bad place for us. I think we have mostly naval superiority. It's going to be very, very close. And we're pretty much going to have to lose all the Canadian units that are here at the moment. Because they're not going to be able to hold that line. 
and we've sent so many reinforcements to try and hold in India. This is not the time, friends. This is not the time. Oh, no, 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 no good. Also, why did you dis why are you doing that when you could have done literally anything else? This is not going to end well. Russia Republic of Italy, to cancel that lend lease. You want to help in our wars, please do so. Join in, my friends, join in. We can, I suppose we could, yeah, I suppose we could. We could send in some of our allies. Call to arms. Do so. Request your forces, all of them. Call to arms. Request your forces, all of them. Find just Bolivia. We stand together as one. Request forces, all of them. Argentina, request forces, all of them. Call to arms. There you go. Chile, call to arms. Request forces, all of them. And call to arms. Request forces, and you have none. Okay. Good to know. Then with this, put them into a new army. Any troop that has the normal symbol, you're not good at all, but you'll have to do. Send them to the Spanish meat grinder. That's you. Uh, here's your army. You, Bolivian troops, what do you look like? A weird choice, if you ask me, but one I won't mind. Send your troops over. Uh, send your troops over. And what else? What are you? So you have a weird unit as well. Paraguayan troops coming in. A unit from you and you send there. The rest join in in a general sense. And no, 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 no. Also cover basically the whole of every country ever. We are preparing for war against everything at once. And I don't really appreciate that, but it's gonna happen. Yes, that'll do fine. Even look, no, even look after their provinces because we should, and it's nice to do so. Nigeria along this coast for now. Not Liberia though. Look after all areas that I don't want them to have to deal with. Especially the French, because the French are going to be a little bit busy at the moment. The Home Guard, please do so. And, oh yeah, our island colonies. Got that, got that. And got that. Got milk. Then in Europe, you're going to need... Ah, these two units can break off. In here, you guys how the lower troops, so you are kind of actually weak, you only binary divisions. You guys can join up with their force, actually, thank you. And now let it go, let it ride. Everyone join in. We are going to have to defend, secure the Mapuche peoples. I'm glad it's finally stunned, it's finally stopped. Imperial Splendor, could be nice. I'd love some Splendor right about now in Canada. Attack the Union of Britain, really? You have to do that as we send all of our troops everywhere except in Europe, really. You, ha you had to do that. Even the kind of losing things in India, you're kind of losing things out here too. Oh hey, we had some troops out in this area. Ah, uh, well, we might as well not uh, lose the opportunity. You guys kind of work out in Yemen. You guys are new troops. Put them in there. What other troops we got in this area? We can give them a new commander. Give them that guy. It's a new theater, so we can put it out there. Pretty. Home Guard's going to be low priority. You're going to be medium priority. You're going to be the high priority. So yeah, everybody in right here. We will hold for our allies. And why you got to do it? Canada, why'd you gotta do it to us? Attack the Union of Britain. How much longer you got on that? Where even is it? It's, it'd be prepared for homecoming, right? Attack the Union of Britain, return of the king. Canada Day, God save the king. Why are they all 70 days? 
That'll take a long time, especially early on. Some improved artillery. Really? You still haven't... You still... Really? Free the king... We did that. Oh, good. Finally, it's done. Liberate Patagonia from Arcania. <laughs> you are Patagonia. Go away. Leave me alone. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to abort. We're just going to have to say no, because it literally won't go away. Then over here in the Commonwealth of Can... No, in the Commonwealth of Canada's lines... Uh, it's not all that happy, though we could break through if pressed. Then down here... Looks like the Canadians have finally figured out how to hold their lines. Okay, I'll... What? No. I'll trust you as much as I can throw you. We'll help hold the line with what troops we can bring in. But this is going to be an absolute meat grinder. And I am not looking forward to it. America is almost surely going to hurt, uh, take advantage of that and take over New England. We are having a hard enough time trying to defend in multiple different areas at once. The Yemeni are trying to fight us. The Dutch, the Dutch East Asia, no, Dutch East Indies and Deutsche Station are still fighting us. Russian Empire has declared war on Georgia. I wonder, have they joined up with anyone? Because you seem to have just taken over the Don Kiban Union. But you were just at war with Russia. We're going to have to let this fail because we, can, we can't free Arakania any more than we already have. Maybe go to that province and hold their defense. I am going to cut the episode as soon as the war is declared. Is it going to be how long? We can go a bit faster. A little bit of a longer episode, but you know, it's the first day back. Come on. That's just Chile. Oh, our troops are going to be spread thin like butter. What about you guys? Have you received any of your reinforcements yet? A lot of them are still in route. Oh boy. Heavy tanks done. Heavy tank twos. We'll go for medium tank. We're not even using them, so how about we get some better anti-air? Seems like a good idea. Ooh, economy of France. How many you got? Got a lot of manpower. You do not have a lot of manpower. You are kind of the weak stepchild of the international. You have a million manpower, but you're kind of stuck on the island. If we can gain naval supremacy, we could defeat you. And Italy's been fighting a long, long time between their two factions, and they basically made no headway in any direction. They should be okay, but we shouldn't make too many friends because, yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Get me in on the war. Get me in on the war. They've declared it. Join the war. Reclamation of the home islands. And there they're already going. They're already going. Jump in on the attack, my boys. Jump in on the attack. We might be able to take them by surprise. If we hurry, hurry, hurry. You kind of come that way. Take advantage of the porous lines. Then, where else... You, who really has no plan, nor the ability to hold on to it, will have to wait until Madrid joins in, and even then they'll probably just focus down the south in Cordoba. Uh, yeah, we can't push in yet until they join. We still have time there. Then elsewhere, ooh, there's a landing on the capital of Yemen. That might be good enough. In here, if we can just push out to there. We can make an attempt. This is going to be an interesting time to be alive, ain't it? But with that, I can watch. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!